Warrior 17 and uh, want to bring you a Giants Editor uh, 6.03 uh, tutorial, as it were. Um, you can go get Giants Editor from uh, any number of places. Pretty simple to get. Uh, but first thing you want to do is you're going to want to get a um, starter map. Before you do that, though, you need to open up certain windows. Cineograph needs to be one. Uh, you'll want that open. Uh, I, I keep it in the upper left. This is going to be where everything you're going to be working with will be in there. You're going to want terrain editing opening here. Uh, this is where you're going to work with all your terrain uh, files. You're going to want attributes open. Right there, attributes will give you attributes on the particular item or tree or whatever. Excuse me, and then you're going to want user attributes open as well over here on the right hand side. Uh, that way um, you can edit uh, trigger points and things of that nature. All right, so those are the four windows you're going to want to open. You can just slide those back and forth as you need uh, when you're opening. And then I will bring up uh, FSUK here, their uh, site. And I'll put this link into the um, into the description down the, down below. And this is the my edited starter map with extra foliage layers and chopped straw added. Basically, if you go there, you hit mods, you hit maps, you'll see it. Uh, I believe it's going to be on the first page. And this has all the credits and all that stuff. Click download, get that. Okay. And then it's going to look like this. You're going to get a this. And uh, you're going to want to copy this or just move this. Right. And you're going to want to go to your map. Now you say, well, okay, so where do I put it? All right. You're going to go to documents, my games. Okay. You're going to want to go to Farming Simulator 2015, mods. Okay, and then you're going to want to create a folder or whatever you're going to name this. I have a test map where I test certain things out on. And then Florida. So I'm going to be making a Florida map. You're going to open up that and then you're going to open up uh, open up the Florida folder. You're going to place that in there and then extract your zip file inside here. And everything, this will all show up. And you can then delete this if you want because you don't need that zip file anymore. No one you already have it in the other place. So... You've unzipped this here, and this is what it'll look like after you've unzipped it. You've got your HTML files and all that stuff. Okay, so you're also going to need Notepad++. And I'll put a dis uh, link in there on how to go get that as well, okay? All right, so you're going to need Notepad++. And you're going to need the Giants Editor. So you're going to go into your map, and this is what it'll look like. And if you need to hit pause in the video, hit pause. And then this is your working map. You can leave it as map01, that's fine. You can see the little editor symbol. That's how you can open it. You can double click on it or you can come here to Giants Editor, put File, Open. And then you know, make sure Florida, Map, there it is. So you hit Open. All right, this will open up the map. You give it a second. It'll, you'll think it's not responding, but it, it, it's working on it. It actually says they're not responding. Now, sometimes it does lock up. I will give you um, a bit of advice. Save often. All right, over here on nav speed down here in the bottom right-hand corner, uh, you increase and decrease that with the plus and minus speed. I like mine about 150. To get your camera to move, you hold down the alt, alt button, so left alt. Your left mouse button allows you to move, look the camera around, up, down, all that kind of stuff. You hold down the right mouse button, going left, zooms out, pushing it to the right, zooms in, even to under the world. If you hold down both mouse buttons, you can shift left, shift right, uh, left pushes right, right. If you move the mouse right, you'll push left. Um, if you move the mouse down, you'll kind of zoom up, move it up, you'll kind of go down, okay? And you can kind of work around with that. Now you might be wondering, what is all that? Well, these basically are all your default items that you're going to need to create a map. Uh, farmhouses, triggers, those big red things there are sound. Uh, like lumberyard sounds, things of that nature. You've got basically everything you're going to need here. This is your seniograph. Okay, this tells you uh, your perspective. You don't really want to mess with that. The sun, you don't want to mess with that either. Your terrain, don't want to mess with that. And then here's your career start point. Now, how you move stuff around. You see I've selected career start point. Here's attributes for it. That's why it's important to have this open. tells you what it is. You can get some information about it. Okay. And then it also says this is on create mission zero zero. So this is where you start. Okay. And then your train stuff's over there. So if you want to move it, you got this blue 
arrow with your left mouse button hold, hold it down and you move it you can move the right that way move it that way you know wherever you want so we're just going to set it right there that'll be our mission start point this over here is water this particular map comes with the water right there as you can see it's below or right at the same spot here so it's definitely going to be water out there so if you want the water you can do that or you can put train block up there kind of block it okay all right so pop up here now you've got all this stuff by the way just set this nav speed to whatever you want when you're looking at this you're thinking oh my gosh this is more than I can probably keep up with so forth so on it's really not um, I will advise you to click on this southeast north and all that kind of stuff okay remember why this attributes important don't mess with it I wouldn't move it unless you're going to need to move it or shift the map around I honestly wouldn't mess with it unclick visibility and I click the ground it gets rid of it and you don't see it because otherwise you're gonna see it in the game okay alright so that's how you start with your map you got everything loaded in here you've got the notepad plus plus you're gonna need that you're gonna need the editor obviously you're gonna need that file and you have all these things now everything is listed right here so you got see under the thing where it says all you need you got water planes you've got your trees which you can click on and now here's something that's important to know right off the bat you click on a tree okay here you see it's grayed that means I have the spruce 40 millimeter or 40 meter highlighted there are bits of the spruce okay if you move one part and didn't move the other part you're really gonna mess up these trees and any other item as well you want to make sure see this uh, three symbols right here that's the main thing that says you have all of it highlighted okay same thing when you're doing like this uh, dairy thing okay dairy silo notice how where I clicked is what highlighted if I move that I don't move the entire thing this parent symbol right here see now it gets all the tops moves the entire thing very important to, to remember that and uh, and to make sure you double check that okay this is your typical uh, farm silo so we're gonna go ahead and grab that and we're gonna put the farm um, over here where we near where we put the career part start uh, start point and let's just say let's see here let's just say the farm be right over here in this lower right hand corner how's that okay and eventually what I'm gonna do is I'll put a screen block up here because some of this stuff I won't use but some of it I also won't get rid of alright so we put that there now let's go back to our career start point and there it is over there now you want to make sure this stuff's on the ground which it is all right? because this map is completely flat right now so let's move the career start point right here okay and voila now we start right there so let's save the map All right. then let's start farming simulator real quick and you can leave giants editor open while it's doing it it's fine won't hurt it at least not that I've found anyways so let's start this up and you should now let's see Go to an empty save, hit start, and you should have sample mod map. There you go. Now let's start it. And I'm hoping this is capturing because I hit screen capture. So, um, so as you load it up, and then you should be able to see exactly what you change. You should start standing right next to your um, where you loaded it at. Now, if this didn't capture it, I, I apologize. If I'm running a screen capture. I didn't think about that before I loaded up the game. But either way, load up your game while I'm talking. And then you should be able to see that you'll start right next to that thing as soon as this thing starts. Okay. So I started. It says, hello, would you like to take a shortcut now? And there you go. If you're already able to see it, I started right next to the thing. There's all those buildings. So it's simple as that. We're going to just go and quit the game. Yes. Quit without saving. Quit. So there you go. You've done the first thing. You've moved two items around. Okay. You're able to load the game. And you're able to start right there looking at that and looking around and seeing everything simple as that okay that's how you start from there just start building your farm there's all kinds of stuff in here and I'll catch you on the next video we'll go over a couple other things like some trigger points and stuff all right thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next time hey hit like hit subscribe and uh, leave comments below okay
always interested to hear what you have to say. Have a great day.